Hello and welcome everybody to Faith in an Ever-Changing World, Encouragement and Hope. Thank you so much for joining us and I'm excited to introduce to you my guest today, Peggy Schott. Hi Peggy. Hello. Peggy is a film stage actor and we know and love her as Becky Travis in the Vindication series, faith-based crime drama. She's also produced short films and music videos. That is awesome. And right after our uh, intro, we will hear more about Peggy Shot. So hold on. We'll be right back. And we're back. Peggy, if you will, please share with us what has God given you to do in this season and how is faith helping you do it? Um, I love the, the question, Janet. It is multifaceted. Um, just to say that it, faith in this ever-changing world, uh, the world is ever-changing, but I believe yes. that our purpose never changes. Um, there's a wide variety of ways to achieve it, but I believe our purpose, the purpose of every human being on this earth is to make life better for others. Oh. Uh, we live in a society where, where everyone is focused on me, you know, what, what makes me happy and, and, you know, right. what do I deserve? But I believe mm -hmm. that serving others is what really brings us closer to God. Yes. Um, and yes, and that we're more was, like him. So yeah. Like others too. yeah. Christ was the perfect humble servant. And, and if we imitate him and, It'll how much better the world would be if people focused on others instead of Absolutely. just on themselves. Absolutely. So, yes. And and I know that that you invited me here today because you know me from vindication. So speaking yes. of seasons, yes. um, not just seasons of life, but seasons of the series, I'm so excited yes. that season three is is rolling out right now on Redeem TV. Yes. Uh, and we are in process of shooting season four. So. I hope Ooh. everybody will check out Vindication on Redeem TV. Absolutely. So you are already shooting season four. We have already started shooting season four. And what Ooh. Redeem TV is doing is helping us tremendously. In order to see season three, um, it's it's behind a special donor content. So you need to be a donor to Redeem. Right. But what they've done is you're not making a donation to Redeem TV. You're actually making a donation directly to season four of Vindication. Oh, okay. And then that gives people the access to all of season three and then season four when it comes out. And it will come out quickly. There won't be a long delay because uh, I know that our fans have been waiting a long time for season three. So season four will come as quickly as, as we can put it together. How wonderful. How wonderful. All right. Well, uh, now, before we went on, you mentioned something about meeting your husband. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to, to go back to, to where it all started mm -hmm. uh, with my start in acting and, and, and discovering uh, my purpose in life. Mm -hmm. uh, I started acting in musical theater in seventh and eighth grade. Uh, wow. And then in high school, yeah, in seventh grade, I was uh, Nancy and Oliver and then Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady. Ah. Um, but then I, I went to high school. I'm from New Orleans, from a, a big Catholic family in New Orleans. Uh -huh. I went to the all girls Catholic school, the same school that my mother and my aunts and my sisters all went to. Right. Um, but the theater was at the boys high school down the street. And so <laughs> I did theater at Jesuit high school, which is where my father and my uncles and my brothers all went to yeah. school. Yeah. I had a, a big theater department there. And uh, when I was a freshman, there was, there was a senior there who was the light man. His name was Kevin. I didn't really pay attention to him. He was just the light man. Um, but it was a few years later when I was a senior and I was still doing doing theater in school. Uh, but I re met Kevin outside of <laughs> outside of school, and uh, and I, I was interested in him. And a friend of mine told me that he was involved in it in a group that volunteered for the Muscular Dystrophy Association, uh -huh. and that they were having a meeting that night. So I'm like, oh, I'll go to this meeting and yeah. I'll be honest, I was not going there to volunteer for MDA. I was going there to see Kevin shot. Yeah, to meet him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, but wow, what it opened up for us, we started dating, but also I got involved in, in volunteering. 
And uh, we were married less than two years later and moved to South Florida. But for years, every summer, we would take our vacation and drive 15 hours to go to Louisiana to volunteer at the MBA camp mm. with, these, with the kids. And mm. to be that young and to see mm. uh, a, a lot of the campers um, were young, young boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And mm. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but the majority of them don't live past their 20s or even mm -hmm. into their 20s. And for a young person to see that, and but also to see what joy they had and, mm -hmm. and how much they, they loved life and really appreciated what life they did have, it, it was it was life altering for us and what an excellent start for, for us in our married life together. Um, but moving to Florida, and, and I did not pursue acting. I really enjoyed it in high school. Mm -hmm. um, but I had heard so many stories. I had friends who had gone off to New York, friend, a couple of friends who signed with the Metropolitan Opera, uh -huh. who I done plays with, and you were in traveling companies, touring companies of big Broadway shows. But there was so much about it, so much competition and negativity that I wasn't yeah. going to understand. Um, so I actually got a degree in graphic design. I started my own graphic design firm and did that wow. for, for many years in South Florida. Uh -huh. uh, and we also started volunteering for the American Cancer Society and, and running big fundraising events and doing things for them. And uh, volunteering just was such an important part of life. Um, yeah. and, and just being able to serve, that's where you get so much fulfillment. Uh -huh. so uh -huh. It's something I always recommend to people is to, to find ways to volunteer. Um, yes. But then we, we moved to Austin, Texas, which is uh, <laughs> where we lived for a long time, started having children. Um, I was volunteering with the church, with the schools and, and different things. Mm -hmm. And just so blessed that through my husband's job, I was able to spend a lot of time. I, I worked part time. I even uh, worked for the, the Catholic Diocese of Austin. I was the, in charge of all the advertising for the Catholic newspaper that went out to 26 different counties in right. Texas. Right. Um, so doing that, but also being able to, to be with my children and mm -hmm. still be able to volunteer and do and uh, you know be part of the school and the church yes. and things yes. like that. But as the kids got older and I they were you know trying to decide what they wanted to be <laughs> when they grew up, and I'm like, oh well, you know, life is changing and different seasons of life. And I was going into this new season of life. I'm like, well, what do I want to be when I grow up? And I just remembered how much I enjoyed entertaining, uh, being on stage and 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 acting and. And I felt that God had given me this gift and suddenly the door reopened for me. And I started back into theater and through theater, I met people who were doing film. And a lot of the, the first films that I did, many, many of them were for film students. And so I found myself once again, volunteering, helping these young people, working mm -hmm. with them, you know, helping them to reach their yeah. goals, uh, but giving me the opportunity to use the gifts that God had given me. Um, yes. So, and doing that for a while, but, th but there was still something that was missing. And I remember uh, I was, I would go to classes, take classes and the your acting teachers are telling you, this is what you need to do in order to, to succeed in this business. And I tell you, it's a really tough business to it succeed is. in. It depends on what your, what your definition of success is. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do this, this, and this, you know, you should succeed. And, and it wasn't happening. Mm -hmm. And I recall very well, you know, praying about it. And, you know, just like the acting teachers would say, do this, this, and this. And I would pray and say, God, what else do I need to do? What yeah. do I need to do? Just tell me what I need mm -hmm. to do to, to be successful in this business. Mm -hmm. And the answer was loud and clear. And he said, quit. And I stopped listening because, of course, that's not what I wanted Ooh, to hear. No, that's not what you wanted to no. do, right? I'm like, no, no, no. I'm trying, I'm trying to control my life. Oh, I'm trying my. to control where I'm going and what I'm doing. Don't tell me to, yeah. to, to quit. And it was shortly thereafter, I was at Bible study, and our leader was talking about how we pray, what we pray for. Yes. Knowing that, you know, it's not what I want. It's what God needs of me. Yes. And to just stay back, be open and say, okay, God, what is it that you, that you're asking me to do? Right. And I will listen this time. I won't shut down. And sure enough, the answer was clear. Quit obsessing. Oh. Because I was trying so hard to control. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Where I was going and, and not letting him. Be yes. And it was, 
very shortly after that, that I got contacted by Jared O'Flaherty. Wow. For vindication. Wow. And all of the other projects I had done before that, being in Austin, it does not have a faith-based community of, of production for, for films. Um, right. And I had never done anything faith-based before, but faith is so important in my life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And wow. What, what a difference it made. Yes. It just, uh, I, and I, I made the choice that I was really going to try to pursue more faith-based things. Mm -hmm. got a faith-based agent who, you know, Jean. Yes. Yes. Um, and just okay. trying to pursue more faith-based faith things. And I'm, I'm auditioning for them and still things are not really happening in that department, but I know that that means that God has something else he wants me to be doing. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So open up, you know, okay, we, Lord, what is it? And uh, we surrender. We surrender. We surrender. Okay, Lord, just show me what it is you, you, where you yes. need me. Um, and I'm still open to acting and doing that and, and have things going. Uh, and sometimes we have to wait, don't we, Peggy? Yes. yes. Surrender and wait. And wait. And when you, you know, be prepared. You mm -hmm. know, I'm always staying prepared. So yes. if, if it yes. happens again, it will. It's, 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 I'd love to do some more faith-based work. Um, but in the meantime, we, you know, the pandemic hit and, and we decided to downsize and we moved to a small town. And the first thing mm -hmm. I said, I need to do, number one, is get involved in our church here. And yeah. so I have, and I've gotten involved in several different things at our church. Yeah. Um, but at church one day, there was a woman who was talking about our local pregnancy center. Uh huh. And I was like, there it is. Uh, that's that's it. it. And uh -huh. so I got in touch with the pregnancy center and I'm now one of the, I'm a regular volunteer there. That's all I'm helping out the pregnancy center just recently uh, hosted a screening of two episodes of Vindication from season one. The one, God, mm -hmm. I will give a spoiler because if you haven't seen season one yet, you're going to hear it. But uh, the yeah. one where, where Becky discovers that she thinks her daughter is expecting, you know, an unplanned yes. pregnancy. Yep. Which it yep. ties in so well with, with a does. lot of the things that yes. we do at the pregnancy center. Mm -hmm. um, so we had a screening of that episode and then also the human trafficking one, which is something that we're constantly looking out for. Right. Being, right. you know, serving these young women. Right. So we hosted a, a benefit and we raised money and raised awareness. And so God is finding all sorts of different ways to use me. If, yes. if I just quit obsessing, yep. obsessing and just allow him to guide me. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much, Peggy, for sharing, uh, sharing that with us. And I'm going to put up some information. Uh, please uh, check out Peggy Schott. She has an IMDb page, a website, PeggyShot.me, and her demo reels are amazing, you. uh, her YouTube. So please uh, connect um, with Peggy Shot, And I will also put those, uh, uh, how they can connect with you in the comment section. OK, Perfect. so they'll be able to access those um, sites better uh, that way in the comment section. Peggy, again, thank you. Peggy thank shot. You. Yes. And please check out Vindication. I am certainly a Vindy and uh, I, I know that you are, are going to be amazed by the series. So please check out Vindication on Redeem TV and make a donation so that they are able to continue shooting season four. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Peggy, again for, for joining me today. And thank you all for joining us. And I want to give a shout out to Abundant Television Network, a, just a great network for you and your family. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video and check us out on Spotify. Have faith and look up, friends, where our help comes from. God bless.